He is accused of holding 5 billion shillings in his personal account, monies he is suspected to have siphoned from public coffers. But Nadif Jama is disputing these allegations and turning the heat on the investigating agency, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Jama is accusing the ethics body of witch hunt and malice. That information is totally and holistically not true. It is malicious in all names and obviously um, nothing short of serious political witch hunting. And to back him up, JAMA has produced these bank statements for the period in question on an official bank letterhead and was dated today. The other on plain paper without an official endorsement from the bank. His balance at the time was just over 2,000 shillings. The same period he is accused of holding billions. But certainly, any investigation carried out does not relate to this to my account because this is the bank. This, this document, which I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to share with you, is from FCB saying that this statement is not correct. So what is, what is the thorough investigation carried out? The High Court last Friday granted orders to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to freeze his account. ESCC had applied for the orders, believing that JAMA's South Sea First Community Bank account holds 5.3 billion shillings illegally transferred from the county account. Today, JAMA says none of his accounts have been frozen and none has even held such kind of monies. But as he defended himself, Majority Leader Eden Dwale was calling for tougher action against the Wiper Party governor, who claims the ethics body is being used to play politics and influence the outcome of the election. If that is true, I want the following institutions to take personal responsibility. The controller of budget is Carl Pepol. Dwale also accused the officers from the Central Bank of Kenya, saying that they are the main conduit that are involved in the transfer of billions of shillings to private accounts owned by public officers. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission is yet to respond to the fresh revelations that now cast its investigations in bad light, if true. The ESCC, through due diligence, could have ascertained if these accounts indeed existed and held such monies that may have been flagged by the Central Bank of Kenya. In the 32 transactions, about 160 million shillings was deposited, which could ordinarily have attracted the attention of the central bank. Ken Mijungu, NTV.